And on the eighth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God made a farmer. Hey, everybody. Welcome back down to the farm. It is your favorite country boy, Numismatic Oki, and I'm here with some more stuff from the coin shop. So as you may remember in my last video, which at the time of recording this I haven't posted, but I will post it first, I got this 10th ounce 1988 Chinese Panda, which just so happens to match a previously acquired quarter ounce 1988 Chinese Panda. Which made my wife really happy because she loves the pandas. And I said I was going to have to go to the coin shop and get a different capsule because this regular old 10th ounce didn't fit. So I have here the 18 and 19. So we're going to try the 18 first. And then we will all know together which capsule is the right one for the older 10th ounce pandas because this was my first of the older 10th ounces except for the um, graded one that I have that you guys will see soon Ooh, this one really seals up there we go okay so my best to line that up. Flip it over. So it does not fit the 19. Or excuse me, the 18. So let's hope it fits the 19. Because that's my last one that I can try. It looks like it fits the 19. And it does. Okay. So we now know that if you get the older quarter tenth ounce Chinese pandas they will fit very nicely in a 19 millimeter or a 19 capsule Whew, let's get capsule walking in there so there's that so today I took a bunch of silver in I took 28 ounces of silver, all coins, mostly generic, and I traded for these two, 28 ounces, which would be almost one and a half tubes for two coins, a 1999 quarter ounce eagle and a 1981 Kruger Rand. See if I can get that. That focus good. Look at that. It's my first Kruger in, Kruger in, however you want to call it. And I really like it. It's really pretty. I like, I, and I like getting the older ones. I had, you know, there's a few different quarters and tenth ounce coins to choose from. And uh, I like getting the older ones. That's one of the things I love about having that good relationship with my coin shop is that to my coin shop, for the most part, gold is gold. It's done by weight. And unless it's the pre-33 stuff, they don't really care too much about trying to add premiums because it's this year or that year. Now there's obviously some key date years they're they're going to add. On gold stuff but you know you're gonna pay the premiums that you expect on all the 33 and older stuff but as far as the like the 80s and 90s bullion they're, they're not jacking up the price it's just because it's a little older so here it is in the capsule This is a beautiful coin. So that goes there. And now that I have removed that quarter ounce panda, I have an open quarter ounce. 
for this guy, which is perfect. That's how I like to do it. And as you can see here, I mean, I know it's not as big a deal, but I like to not touch them whenever possible. Just because, I don't know, just because that's the way I am. If I get gold bars or something like that, I'll touch them, no big deal. But the coins, I like to try and keep them untouched. And I know my coin shop guys, they use gloves. So, let me bring that up. Gorgeous. One quarter ounce. So, for those keeping score, put the 18 back on here. And I'll tape that down or staple it or something. I'll probably just staple it. Any more staples. Okay, so I'll finish sealing that bag up here in a little bit. For those Cuban score, that is, that's a half ounce. One, two, three, four, five. Here's a half ounce. So that gives me one ounce right there of gold. And then I have one, two, three, four, five. I have another half ounce that's in slabs, and they're all 10th ounce graded. I don't have any graded quarters yet. But those are in the safe, so I'm not gonna show them right now. Well, there you go. Nice little spread of gold for y'all. And then also I was rummaging through their mercury dime bucket. They have little bins for stuff, and I picked up some of the key, the dates that we've had trouble finding for my wife. So I'm not going to bother putting them all in the books in front of you, but 35, I think it's a D, nope, 35S, it is 38P, 38 Nomad. These aren't like in any special great shape or anything, they're just to fill holes. It's a 34 D. A 27 27 P. It's a nice little 27 though. And a 29. So, there we go. I got these for $13 even for the five Mercs, and then this was a 44 Walking Liberty that just happened to be in with the Mercs for some reason. Got tossed in the wrong barrel, the wrong little bin, and I was like, eh, that's a good looking little walking half. I'll, I'll grab that one too and just throw it in with my Constitutional. And so I paid 13 for those, and uh, I think it's pretty good. Pretty happy with that, considering I needed them for book fills. They're not just junk silver price, but I got junk silver price on them. He knew I was buying them for my book. So, but anyhow, that is all for today. Um, don't forget that in the new year, I will be announcing my next... Um, giveaway and in light of some of the things that have been going on around parts of our community and a couple others I mean I'm I kind of in a couple different communities and I've seen some similar issues going on elsewhere in YouTube um, so I've been reading the rules on how giveaways and all that work and uh, oh it's been requested that I show off Mr. Cafefe that you can hear squawking his little beak off in there so I will go in there and get 
I don't know, 10 seconds or so of video and, and stick it in with this, since this isn't a very long video. But anyway, I will be announcing a formal announcement for my next giveaway, which will happen from when I announce it, just after the first of the year, and it will run through uh, till I get 250 subs that it'll close. It's going to be a little bit different than what most people are used to, and that is because it appears YouTube is getting a little more tight on the way they enforce that kind of stuff, and I don't really feel like having my channel blocked out or anything like that. So, yep, that's it. I'll give you some more goldness, some more purdiness before I put them back in the in their tube. It's cool because with these holders, the uh, the quarter ounce and the tenth ounce fit in the same tube. This is how I tube them, especially my gold, but all my my premium coins, I do it by hand like that. I don't just drop them in anymore. I had been just dropping them in and I did it and broke a capsule. And so I don't do that anymore. So one of my goals is to fill one of these with all quarter ounces this year in 2018. So I've got the first two in there. So I got 18 more to go. And then I want to fill a tube also with 10 ounce and I got five here, so I got 15 more of those to buy. Anyway, that's all. Sorry for babbling at you. Thanks for coming down to the farm. Really appreciate it. Um, if I post this before Christmas, Merry Christmas. If I post it after Christmas, Happy New Year. And uh, thanks for coming down. I'll see you all next time on the farm. This is Kafefe, everyone. The bratty little squawker you see in all the videos, or here in all the videos. Hi, huh, Kafefe. Are you a good bird? What are you doing? No, be nice. Oh, good boy. Kisses. He's all happy. <laughs> Hello, Kafefe. What are you doing? So, there. Now everyone has seen Kafefe. I love you. <laughs> He's looking sideways. <laughs> what is that? What? What? Yeah, camera's on and now you're quiet. <laughs> Good boy. Are you showing off? Yeah?